Now, the people of Ireland get to vote tomorrow on whether to swallow the medicine prescribed by Europe. It's a quirk of the Irish Constitution that it requires a referendum for the country to decide whether to accept a treaty that most of the rest of the Eurozone has already agreed to. The Irish have a habit of rejecting EU treaties in referendums and then accepting them when they're told to come up with the right conclusion. Joe Lynham reports. We have to vote yes tomorrow. We're not voting for tomorrow. We're voting for the Ireland of two years from now. We're voting for the Ireland of 40 years for our grandchildren. But Ireland's young people may not be able to wait a few years. They're already emigrating at a rate of 1,000 a week, though not all of them have lost their sense of humour. I just find it kind of interesting, and I'm sure you guys have seen this, the scenes of protest, the indignados in Spain, and, and, and the, the people of Greece taking to the streets, burning down Athens, and, and part of you thinks, why doesn't this happen in Ireland? And you realise, we just don't have the weather for it. <laughs> I'm not going to pay any debt. And people say, Aidan, that's irresponsible. What would happen if everybody stopped paying their debt? Uh, we'd be debt free. <laughs> I decided to do my own little stand-up. After all, how difficult can it be? And the reason we're here is because we're looking at the, uh, the treaty. And I was hoping to canvass your views uh, because unlike so many of your peers, uh, you haven't emigrated uh, yet. Uh, so all I, uh, all, so many are don't knows. Okay, so you've you're, you know, you got to vote in the next 48 hours and you still don't know. Is that right? fair enough? Uh, can I ask someone why they don't know? Sir, who, you, did you raise your hand? Who raised their hand and said they didn't know? So, sir, wh why, 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 why don't you know? <laughs> no pressure. I haven't really looked into it. Despite the gallows humour and the high number of undecided voters, even at this late stage, both sides in the debate agree that Ireland faces a few more years of austerity irrespective of the outcome. Well, just before we go 